This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Rentinger's Rants. It's the show where I rant and rave on anything from the wide world of technology. Up this week, it's all about the HTC One, in particular, the crazy spec race and the very odd four megapixel sensor that HTC's put on their next flagship. I've read your comments on YouTube, and I want to talk about it. Let's get ranting. <laughs> So on Tuesday, HTC took the stage at their own keynote and announced their brand new hot flagship, the HTC One. This guy's got a 4.7 inch 1080p screen, quad core, a pretty awesome looking industrial aluminum unibody design, and by all accounts is the new hotness. This is going to be the phone that HTC hopes is going to bring them back to prominence. Back in the days of the original Nexus, HTC was the manufacturer. Since then though, Samsung has skyrocketed. LG's gained and Apple keeps selling phones that people are forgetting about poor HTC. So they are saying, hey, this one is going to do it for us. Get it? But one of the crazy things they announced is a ultra pixel camera, which everybody said, awesome, ultra pixel. It's going to be like Nokia's Pure View with 32 megapixels. Instead, they said it's going to have this many megapixels. Four which is weird. So let me first say that I have not tested the camera yet. I'm gonna hold out final opinions on the camera until I have a chance to test it, but I'm trying to go in with an open mind, and I think you should too. Arlen Todd Hazleton was at the event in New York, had a chance to play with the phone. Of course, on the screen, the pictures look great, but that's not the real test. You're gonna see how they look on your computer. So let me explain a few things about megapixels. The more megapixels you have in a camera doesn't mean the better the camera is. That is a huge misconception. You think, more of something you have, the better it's gonna be. And HTC said they didn't wanna get caught up in a spec race, which kinda sounds like a cop-out being like, hey, we don't wanna keep putting high-end specs in here. Essentially, it's megapixel sensors stacked on top of each other. And megapixels, as I mentioned, don't give you better pictures. Essentially, the advantage of having more megapixels on a camera is first, digital zoom, so you can zoom in more, you've got more pixels to work with, or if you wanna print out your image and blow it up to giant size or show it on a giant screen, then yes, more megapixels definitely are nice. But for most of us that are viewing pictures on our phone, viewing them on a regular computer, or even printing out photos for normal size, extra megapixels can actually create extra noise inside of the picture. Doesn't mean your pictures are going to look any less sharp. They can actually look a little more blurry sometimes because of more megapixels. So HTC is saying is that they are taking the best sensors they can. It's going to take 300 times more light into the sensor. You'll be able to have better low light performance, better high light performance, better just performance overall by essentially taking out some of that noise. So yeah, it's a four megapixel sensor, but it's a stacked sensor. So in theory, these pictures should look absolutely outstanding but how is that gonna affect digital zoom how's that gonna affect things when you want to blow up your images gigantic that is the big question and I'm really not sure how HTC is gonna answer that yeah it's great they've got the Zoe thing where you can make gifts and all that kind of business that move around awesome be able to do that since like the past 15 years but the camera is the big question mark with the HTC one I really want to see how it works if they did it and if they didn't work and it's not as good as advertised HTC is gonna be in a world of hurt. So let me take a minute from talking about specs to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. You know them, you love them, you should definitely be subscribing to them. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC or Mac or your TV from your Xbox 360, your PS3, or your Nintendo Wii or Wii U consoles. Netflix has all the best stuff, TV shows and movies. Get a free 30-day trial. Go to Netflix.com slash Buffalo, sign up, let them know that we sent you, and get your streaming on. So I'm giving HTC the benefit of the doubt. Be sure to check out our full review of the HTC One. We get our review unit in, which HTC has said is going to be sometime in early March, and I will test the heck out of that camera. We'll take pictures in near dark, we'll take pictures in bright light, take pictures of dogs, take pictures of humans. I will take pictures of food for Instagram and pictures of airplane wings. That's evidently all you use it for. Uh, and we will put this guy to a full battery of tests. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you upset by the specs in this? Are you having an open mind saying, okay, maybe I need to reshift how I think about cameras on phones? Uh, really kind of curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Leave your comments down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We super appreciate it. I am your host, John Rettinger. Check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news and I will see you in the next video or you'll see me in the next video. Dun 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 dun
Tschüssi, ciao.